Hi, I'm Kat Jersich, Senior Editor at Healthcare IT News, here with Bill Hayes, Chief Medical Officer at CPSI. Bill, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. So, you were a physician for many years before you transitioned to CPSI. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that background and what brought you into the EHR IT space? Sure, I'd be happy to. I practiced as an interventional cardiologist for many years, enjoyed my practice, enjoyed my patients, enjoyed what I did. And interesting thing, there have been a lot of tremendous advances in healthcare. And one of them that came along was the electronic health record. Mm -hmm. And it changed how I practiced. Oh. And I saw the power behind the computers and thought that I think we can do more and I think we can do it better. Uh, so over some years, I got interested in being in the HIT field, in the EMR field, uh, and ended up making a transition full time to work in the HIT world. Uh, ended up in a position as the Chief Medical Officer at CPSI Corporation, an EHR vendor here in the United States. Uh, that being said, uh, I like to think that I'm the voice uh, of the future, of the power of computers in the HIT world. Uh, and that being said, uh, I've enjoyed working there already on some projects that are ongoing. That's wonderful. You and I were chatting a little bit um, before we started filming about uh, a new tool that you've been using that helps surface relevant clinical data, and I wondered if you could tell the viewers a little bit about that. Sure, I'd be happy to. So in practice, um, in the systems that I used, uh, these are industry comments, I found that uh, there was power in them in the fact that I could get information from them when I was seeing a patient, what we call a point of care for a problem, a problem that we were addressing in the office, but it was difficult to sort of get the right information at the right time that was relevant or important. Uh, probably about a year and a half ago, we met a corporation uh, who's become our partner, the Medicom Corporation, uh, who about 40 year years ago began building a clinical connection tool. Mm. And the idea that they had, which I liked very much and was impressed with from the minute I actually met them here at HIMSS for the first time, uh, was the fact that they were looking to drive the data or the information available to a clinician who's using a system at the point of care from a clinical perspective. Mm. The companies in this country have built wonderful applications to run healthcare systems that people use, but the workflow has been somewhat dictated by that. This idea, I think, is the antithesis of that. And the feedback from our, we have a physician council at our company at CPSI of users, physicians who use our system, who give us direct feedback. So this is not just my voice, this is the voice of clinical end users, that to drive the information from the chart clinically, to make it high value relative information as opposed to a huge amount of data that is hard to get through or know what's relevant is a huge change. Hmm. So with this tool, we've agreed uh, to partner with them going with the same vision, which I like the fact that we all have the same vision between Medicomp and CPSI, to go forward to drive the fact that if I'm a physician and I'm seeing a patient for problem A at the point of care, that this tool will go through the EHR for that patient and bring to me all of the information that's clinically relevant to the problem I'm seeing. Matter of fact, some many, many years ago, Dr. Larry Weed talked about problem-oriented charting. Mm. And the interesting thing is that that's an incredible way to do care or quality care is that you've, the problem comes up and the chart, the information, the data, I'm not a technical person, I'm not a software engineer, I'm a physician, uh, understands from the connections that they've built that I should know things like the PT, the hemoglobin, you know, anything relevant to the problem that I'm seeing, because that's what I need on one screen to take care of the patient for that problem at the time. So in short, a synopsis for me as a physician, we'd like to keep things simple, uh, is that I think a lot of workflows and some of the frustrations have been dictated by having to use applications that are all separated, not the workflow, to flip over and take a huge amount of data that is difficult to get through, pull out high value relative information relative to what you're addressing with the patient at that time and care for them is a very different idea that the workflow is then being supported by the power of the application of the computer. Mm. And to me, that's a very different way. And when I used systems originally, that was not how it worked. And I found it difficult to find things. I found it difficult to, to get help at two o'clock in the morning when you're seeing a patient. Uh, that's just the reality of what we do. It's finding sort of the signal and the noise situation is what I'm hearing. Exactly. I'm very much in favor of interoperability. I think the ultimate goal for the electronic health record world here, as you and I chatted a little earlier, is the fact that, heaven forbid, you happen to be a person who lives in Tampa and have an, an automobile accident in Colorado and you aren't able to give us information. The most important thing is that if I'm your treating physician, that at that point I get the information I need. And that huge interoperability is very important, but you have to be able to parse the data down to something that's relative to the caregiver at that point because mm. there's too much information. Physicians, nurses, clinicians, they don't want the data. Even though I'm for EHI, I'm for 100% interoperability, 
to have the information is very important, but have the computer parse it and understand to what to look for because then you take the data and provide, again, as I said earlier, that high clinical value information at the point of care. That's how to increase quality, that's how to increase out, improve outcomes for patients and improve efficiencies and even, in the end, maybe satisfaction for the users. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, speaking of user satisfaction, before we wrap up, I'm wondering if you can provide any feedback that you're hearing. Do you have any sort of um, KPIs or notes that the tool is working? Um, sure. So we're in the midst of developing those, per se, uh, with Medicomp. Medicomp has done some projects already uh, with another small hospital. This is the first time I think that I'm aware of that you know, we represent about 700 hospitals that we are going to work on deploying this throughout our EHR for all of these hospitals. But back to KPIs, we're working on developing those. Once we get the tool integrated, we uh, have become partners within the last month and have already begun work. Uh, but that being said as well, I guess subjective is not a good way to do science, mm -hmm. but when we showed it to physicians who used our current system, um, I'll be a little candid, uh, one is not a way, in one case is not a way to make a decision, but one of the physicians leaned back in his chair and said, okay, when can I have it? Great. So, very encouraging, I mean, uh, and we will have measurements in place, but so far everyone who we have demonstrated, we've already integrated the first iteration of the tool into our HR two weeks ago on site at our building. Uh, people who have seen the functionality from a clinical standpoint and realized that the information that they're interested in for that visit or to problem orient, you know, problem chart or, uh, oriented charting is there immediately uh, is a different perspective on how they interact with the HIT.